you obviously had a disappointing result against the Ospreys last week. Tell us a bit about what you've been doing to try and right the wrongs from Sunday. Well, we've really focused on ourselves this week. We've looked at the game in detail, just understanding where we where we made perhaps some, some errors, um, rectified them. They've been really quick. You know, it's only a week ago that we, we put in a good performance against Leicester, so uh, we're not a bad side uh, by any means. Um, we just need to reset ourselves, concentrate on what we do really well um, and, and really bring that on Saturday. You know, there were certain areas of our game that were missing, if you like, um, at the weekend and certainly the breakdown and physicality was one of them. So. Well, we've put a lot of detailed attention into that area and um, hopefully we'll see a result at the weekend. I know Rob said that you've got a bit of a kick in the pants, so to speak. Um, have you given the players a kick in the pants as a response? No, not too much. I mean, just we just highlighted the, the key areas that we, of the game we've got to get right. Um, uh, as I say, it's those areas we've do, been doing really well. Um, and it's sometimes a bit difficult when you, you're winning games and, and, and winning, putting in good performances. Um, that mentally, um, you know, we've got to learn the lessons that we've got to continue and, and reset ourselves each week. Uh, and sometimes you do, you do get a bit carried away. And obviously, there was a natural break after that four weeks in the Premiership. We put a lot of uh, attention on that, and it was important to start the Premiership well. So um, to come out of it, we, we probably just dropped our, our intensity and our, and our standards a little bit. Um, and against a, a quality opposition like the Ospreys, you're going to get punished, and we did. Is that disappointing? Because you would expect if you'd, you know, you would increase intensity and increase the standards in a game which, to a certain degree, has, has more stature and it's the European Championship as opposed to, to the domestic. Well, I don't think it has any more stature than the, the, the domestic. The, the, the thing about the Premiership is all 12 clubs are focused on the Premiership as well as then uh, the, the, uh, the, the European Cup. So. Um, obviously, yeah, you would see that as a step up, and it, and it is a step up in, in quality. But um, obviously, we get the pressures week in, week out, um, and, and different different leagues are slightly different, and how the, how you know clubs and provinces approach those those games are slightly different. But we obviously had to put a lot of uh, um, effort into those Premiership games. Uh, you, what you don't want to do is start the Premiership poorly because you end up. In, in, a, in a real fight the whole season so obviously our main focus was to get through that block but equally we did mention that we'd work really hard to get into the uh, Champions Cup and um, um, unfortunately that, that excitement just didn't quite um, you know, carry through into the game and, and we lit literally dropped off a little bit. Team news this week, how is the squad looking? Any returns from injury? Um, I, th I think we're, we're getting uh, guys back up and running. I think the the, the, late, the details on, on those people um, will probably come out later in the week. We've still got a couple of days just to finalise that. So um, we, we are looking better on our retur returns um, returns to play. Um, a couple of guys have picked up some knocks, but um, and you know you know no more than than we normally get through through the through the season. Insofar as this game will obviously be against the French side who had their game called off last week because of the shootings. We'll talk about the game in a second. Just first of all, what is the feeling in the camp regarding the situation in France and, and how Bordeaux might approach it? Obviously, it's a, a very difficult time for everybody in France. Yes, sure. Um, you know, Bordeaux will obviously um, not have played last week, so um, it's very difficult to, to assess um, what side they'll come over with. Um, but obviously, it's, it's difficult for all people. It's all people, you know, across Europe as much as anything. Everyone's feeling it. So um, it, it's important, you know, we put, we get back to our rugby. You know, the, the the rugby side of things, the rugby community is fantastic, um, fantastic to be part of, uh, and we'll, we'll pull together and we'll um, look forward to welcoming uh, Bordeaux over here and, and um, you know, playing a, a great game of rugby that we all love playing. On a practical level, you've got a six-day turnaround. They've effectively had a 14-day turnaround uh, since their last game, so they will be very fresh. Is that an, a, an issue as well? No, I don't think so. I think um, we've, we've managed the guys well. We, we do that um, very well. Uh, before Leicester, we had a six-day turnaround uh, the same. So um, we're comfortable where we are. We're, we're well prepared. We've trained very well. 
Uh, we've had a positive reaction in training because of the result. I think the guys are, are pretty frustrated with the level of performance at the weekend. So we'll expect a, a good reaction from that. Equally, we know they'll, they'll be fresh. They're, they're top quality side um, competing at, at the top level in France, which is no, no mean feat. So um, we've got to take them seriously. But um, we, what we've got to do is, is, is focus on ourselves a little bit and make sure we bring our, our a, a game, so to speak. The likes of Adam Ashley Cooper and Kepu in the side as well. It's going to be a, a, a real entertaining factor and, a, and, and not an easy game, is it? No, I mean, none of them are at this level. It's, it's, it's a quality competition. You've obviously got world-class players coming in from, from, from around the world. So um, uh, that adds to the spectacle and adds to the challenge for our guys. You know, they can go up against some, some um, you know, world beaters, uh, if you look at it, uh, in the past. And um, it should be an exciting challenge for us.